I think that knowing that it's common for us to find parts of scripture difficult to understand and at times a, a challenge to live out the message from scripture, especially the message of Jesus and the gospel message. We can get blown back by thinking, why would God say this? Or why might God do this or ask somebody to do this? And actually it's about understanding the context. And I think it's important to pray when we don't understand something or might find something challenging and then the Holy Spirit can speak to us. What helps me get over those bits of the Bible that are challenging again is that narrative that flows through the Bible. It's that love, compassion and grace and a life of service. The death of Jesus on the cross did change things. We're all fortunate because we don't know what it's like to live a time where there was no grace. It was a powerful global changing event when Jesus died on the cross at Calvary because it changed the way we love. I think it's a really positive thing that um, there are bits of scripture that we don't understand or that, uh, that challenge us, kind of um, alarm us, <laughs> that are difficult to deal with. I think sometimes we can get so over familiar with the scriptures and kind of take it for granted. We, we gloss over scriptures, just read the parts that make us feel good. We throw out certain quotes because we, we've learned them by rote but don't even really know what they mean. Or we treat the Bible like a motivational handbook. But I believe that God is just so much bigger than what we can understand. That we can't limit God to our little boxes, our traditions, our religious systems, our denominations. But uh, to, to squash him into the box that we understand. And I think that being challenged by scripture, it kind of helps us to remember that and, and forces us to, to dig a little bit deeper and to not take it all for granted and to challenge our prepositions, our assumptions about God, about who he is. And so as we, we dig in, we wrestle with it, we chew over the word, we really engage with it. And you know what? Don't always come out with an answer. It doesn't always, it's not always clean and neat and, and oh, this is that, this is that cool. And we put it in our little boxes. Sometimes having those areas of, of confusion or uncertainty, but we've engaged with the text, we've wrestled with it. And that, even that process, allows us to kind of see God in a different way, it allows us to examine ourselves and as we face those challenging parts of scriptures we grow. Over the years I've ultimately come to the realisation that I'm never going to fully understand everything in the Bible and I think that's okay because as long as we trust God and understand the main areas of the Gospel and the Bible, you know, having faith in God, knowing that you won't understand everything otherwise we probably would be God and we're never going to get to that I suppose. If I, if I read something and I come up with the answer somehow that God is not good or, or something like that, it means that I'm, I'm kind of asking the wrong question and so I need to go back and, and look at it again. Um, and so I think that really helps me um, deal with some of the, the more difficult parts of scripture that perhaps I don't understand to kind of revisit and wrestle with things.